the bride's toilet obviously it was something that uh, that that interested her and as a very young girl she had gone to some wedding and has written about the poor bride and how this 12 year old girl is a bride when she was herself about 12 years old this work is is still within the kind of framework of uh, janta but in a way you can see that there is a uh, a kind of drawing and linear element which is also coming from from miniatures but obviously somewhere um, she kind of felt that there is uh, something she'd like to capture which was more intimate that in the preparation uh, of the bride that there is some there's a greater intimacy and therefore uh, the intimate scene allows her uh, to be topless that is in the painting you know man sits uh, there as a bride's toilet uh, it has already become uh, uh, in, in in the public space but the fact that in such a dark scene uh, she is going to push uh, a knee like that which is just you know you could say it's it's phallic or you could just say it's it's a shape uh, and where it is positioned even is 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 a proposal of a kind of locking so she is trying to uh, assert something into this what i'm calling a kind of night scene uh, this very strong white which is disconnected from the body so these are her elements of uh, of abstraction of uh, the language of modern art uh, which is constantly you know uh, kind of uh, keeping vital so when people say oh she left all her western art and she took to indian painting all that is uh, is is ideological it's you know not recognizing that her love for uh, for uh, oil painting and oil painting is a lot to do with materiality physicality she also <clears throat> almost entirely painted from figures being posed so very rarely does she say i am painting a composition you know that means that uh, i am not posing them i invented and that was influenced by a couple of miniature paintings uh there's a i mean a relationship between uh, her father who uh, was photographing her and her posing for the photograph now through my work i have now uh, <clears throat> made uh, her father umrao singh is a pioneer of modern indian photography means in modern it's like uh, din dayal is colonial photography and <clears throat> in the uh, <clears throat> late 19th century the camera became lighter and the new middle class were photographing first of all the family so the family album becomes the main genre and every father photographs his wife and children etc so by and large the as i said the women were a combination of uh, posing uh, you know models or or the working women in in, in the house um, the sweepers the gardener the cook's wife etc so those those became her model if she liked a particular face a kind of psychological intimacy is proposed and how women are cloistered and how the way that their bodies touch the way they are in close proximity a uh, whole aspect of of long summers where they are just lying about so that that mood of of a kind of uh, uh, melancholic introspection of a kind and uh, yeah and that's i mean on one hand uh, kala becomes a very um, rich and sensuous uh, assertion and in that certainly she interjects uh, what uh, you know she wrote in a in a romantic way about uh, about the melancholy of the people i mean it's a social melancholy it's not a psychological one 